And man, as the story reads, it was one night that changed it. You woke up in the morning looking in the mirror and you just knew a change had to happen. Mm -hmm. How crazy was that night? Because I had, you know, I was partying and all. I probably had alcohol problem that I didn't address at the <laughs> yeah. time. But even in college, man, I'm getting, I got locked up yeah. twice. Got arrested four times. Yeah. Waking up, you know what I'm saying? Throwing up, doing, you know, doing ladders up, up, uh, up UF Stadium. Cause I'm, yeah. I'm drunk. I'm throwing up Hennessy. Like, yeah. and none of that ever clicked to me. No, it never clicked to me. I'm sure you had some long days. Why did that morning click to you? Um, honestly, it was like an accumulation of like four or five days. Like, I, I it's funny. Like, I talk, I called my agent. I called Rachel. And this was like two weeks before and I called him. I'm like, listen, I need to get help. Like I need, I don't know what I got to do, but like y'all got to help me out. Like this shit ain't, this shit ain't working. I talked to them. I was sober for like 10 days, just like strong arming it basically. And I, and I was just in Vegas alone basically. And I was kind of just waiting for this guy. He's a, one of the best people I know, Scotty. He was going to come like on Tuesday and come see me. Like he's basically does interventions, things like that. And he was going to come talk to me. And I didn't know if I was, he was just going to take me straight to rehab. I didn't know what it was going to be. He was coming on Tuesday, and it was a Saturday. And I was just going to chill in the house, just, you know, whatever. And then the UFC, there was a UFC fight that night. And I was like, I got tickets front row. F it. Like, I, I was contemplating back and forth, but I kind of knew deep down, like, I probably shouldn't go. And it was, I was like I said, I was 10 days sober. I went to the UFC fight, had one drink, and then it turned to like four or five days straight Dang. until Scotty got there on Tuesday. So he basically kidnapped my ass, and I was like fucked up. And I was out all weekend in Vegas doing crazy shit, just all over the place. So yeah, I woke up that morning, like my body, like physically, I was like just fucking dehydrated, felt terrible, like the worst of the worst. Like I felt like I was dying. So like it got that bad. And it's just scary. Like, that shit is crazy. I never felt like that before. I looked in the mirror and, like, didn't even fucking recognize myself. So that was that was where it got to a point of, like, what am I doing? Like, this, this shit is not going to last. And, yeah, it just kind of clicked for me at that moment. March uh, 11, 2020, yeah. you're checking the rehab. Yeah. Fast forward two years later, you sign a, a stupid ass. <laughs> the Raiders couldn't give you six more million to make it 100, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I that's, know that crazy, was a whole right? controversy. Talk to somebody. <laughs> or maybe even um, four more to, make, to match your number. Yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah. You, you, you sign a deal, a multi, multi-year extension two years after you check yourself in rehab on yeah. the exact same date. Yeah. You know, and we've seen guys get all this money, and some guys can fall into complacency, you know, and just kind of, sure. I'm, I'm good, I'm set for life. How do you stay motivated and not slip back along that path that you just spoke about, you know, those times in Vegas? Like I said, God works in mysterious ways. Like I didn't plan, like we didn't plan it to be, you know, I'm gonna sign my contract on the day I got sober. It just happened to be, we were in negotiations for about a week straight. And the night before I get a call from my agent, we got it, boom, this is, we're at a good place. He broke it down to me. I'm like, let's do it. Like, I'm, I'm with it. So it just happened to be the next day was the day I got sober. So I didn't, like, publicly, I didn't go out and say, yo, I'm signing this deal. Like, I literally just posted my sobriety day. So that was, like, a big deal. And then, like, two hours later, I ended up signing, and we, they announced it and everything. But, you know, the thing about the complacency part, like I said, like, that's another challenge for me. And I feel like from the outside world, like, everybody expects the guy that gets paid, like, okay, now he's gonna just chill. And I feel like that's a common theme in, in professional sports. Guys get their bag and they, they chill out. And for me, it's like, I don't play for the money. 